good morning, everyone. Er, it's cold out here. Oh, it's so peaceful. Wow, it's really pretty out too. The water's creating its own clouds. I just stepped in bird poop. Layla, you didn't scare away the bird fast enough. Look at that. Can you guys see it? I'll have to pick it up because sometimes a GoPro doesn't pick up the small, little, minuscule, really cool things that I film. For instance, Layla's cute little face. Oh. <laughs> Okay. You want me to get the chain while you do that? Beautiful mist. Kind of drifting out of the channel. We're just kind of drifting into the channel. I don't think we're drifting into the into the shallows. Look at all my things. I washed them. Only thing is, when I washed them. Um, they kind of bled a little bit, but that's okay. That makes, that's just what they are. They're, they're, they're supposed to look kind of used and worn. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, Layla. Excuse me. Oh, Layla's like, Layla's like, I don't want to leave. Goodbye, Annika. What a beautiful place this was. Very, very surprisingly beautiful. Misty morning. Oh, I better get the uh, chart plotter for Pete. I guess I'll get you the chart plotter, Pete. Because the channels are pretty narrow here. the doldrums again. We had a little bit of a sail and then it died. Seas are nice and flat though. Yeah. Got the boom way out. The jib. If we don't, uh, if we don't get enough wind, we might do square sails. Um, the only thing of square sails is we won't be able to motor um, because obviously the wind will be directly behind us, and if we motor faster than the wind, then the square sails will backwind. So. Um, we're gonna try this for a little while, and it seems like it's working. Pull the main out real far. We put a preventer. That's the preventer right there for the main, um, just in case we do accidentally jibe. Um, the scary thing sometimes is that top gaff. If we jibe, the top gaff will swing, and the boom won't, so it can uh, be a little dangerous. But the way the sail is cut, um, where it's cut kind of like this, it's not the best cut, but it's it's better than the jib, definitely. Um, so if it does swing, if the, if the gaff does swing, it's not going to tear any stitching. Um, so that's pretty good there. The jib... Yeah, the jib cut, uh, we're not too happy with. Um, first of all, it's got... It's kind of like this way. Um, and also, it's like they had to piece in all this right here, the bottom half, which is, you know, is whatever. Maybe it is a good cut, I don't know. Those right there are for the reef points, those round circles with the white V's. That's for the reef points. And our gooseneck for the reef is actually right here. This is our reef. And then these lines, these black lines, all of these are actually our reef lines. So you pull these lines back and that'll pull, you can see at the very end of the main, you can see that there is um, other little circles, uh, grommets with V's and those 
are what the black line for the reef lines go through that you pull in and that'll pull it down. And then all these right here are for tying the sail down after you reef it down. So we've got three reefing points but they're pretty deep. It's a pretty deep reef too. So if we need to, we can bring it all the way down to a pretty good deep reef. Finally sailing! Yeah. The winds finally filled in like they predicted. Yeah, a little early on the south. Anything that I've been trying to tell Layla she can go potty on the boat. Every time I put the, I've noticed if I put the life vest on her and as soon as I do that, she goes and she looks over the side and sees if she sees land. But right now there's land kind of over there, so it's kind of deterring her from wanting to go to the bathroom. But for any of you that were wondering how my little herb garden was doing, my basil died. There's my dead basil. Yeah, the rosemary's doing okay. The tomato plant, it's hanging in there. It's its not very happy. It's not wanting to become a tomato plant. Uh, I've never been a very good uh, gardener. I think if I actually like, had some room to have a garden, that'd be one thing, but you know, it's really hard to have a garden on the boat. And no, it's not that kind of an herb garden. We are winging, winging it. We'd put up the squares, but now that we are almost to a point where we're going to be turning, it's not enough time to put the squares up. It's been kind of like that this whole trip. We would, but we can't because of this reason. <sighs> That's okay. It's a little freaky doing this. We've got a preventer on the boom. actually talk to you. Hey Bowie, do you talk back? The birds are all like, what? Hello. <laughs> uh, I guess this one's not a talking buoy. How rude. I'm gonna try sheet the tiller. I'm a little nervous. Through this, doesn't it? Yeah. You got to move for you know. Well, oh, just sit up as far as you can. Uh. Okay, that's good. Okay, now hold that tiller about where we think we need it. Alright, I need to pull it over a little bit. Should I let go of it? Well, just hold on. It yeah. needs to uh, go point this way just a little more. Like, uh, it's wanting to.
look it turn. Oh, it's turning. It's turning a lot. Why is it turning so much? Steer for just a minute. Wait, okay. Uh, steering. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to go this way a little bit. Pete's a lot braver than I am. I would have not done this. where it needs to be. Maybe it needs more bungee now. Because you did other things. Now I need this to pull this way. That bungee just pulled it way over. I need the jib to pull it. Is the jib pulling it now? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's what we need the jib to pull it. Okay. So when the jib pulls that, it runs it pulls this toy back this there. It pulls it towards me. And it pulls it towards So it should keep us from going too far up. And now we need to... We need more bungee to pull it back again. Yeah, well, it, it did a minute ago. Maybe it needs more again now since we're... See? Look, it's pulling it back. It just did. Yeah. But it's not working as efficiently as what we can do. See, it says that loose enough. But that's but okay. Tightens, but at least we don't have to do it. That, well, we gotta watch it. Now that's pulling it back. It's a lot better than me steering the whole time. Yeah. Well, maybe we need another bungee. No, no, it's just from snatching. It's from not. Well, I'd get it like that sometimes. Yeah. Is it doing it? Because trying to steer all night would have been so tiring. Well, we got to watch it. Yeah. If worst comes to worst, you just untie, pull that, pull them both off, you know. Pull that off and yank that one off. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I'm going to walk up forward.
cold. <laughs> A little too late to put the square sails up. Um, you want to kind of do that when there's more light out, um, sun's going down. And it also kind of gives us poor visibility, um, which probably isn't really a good idea at night in a very tight area like this is. All right. <laughs> See, as soon as that wind dies. <laughs> As soon as the wind dies, this bungee pulls it over. Yeah. Is this is the bungee? Yeah. Oh man. They count a little bit. Great. Yeah. But as soon as there's another one right there, if that one breaks. Yeah. As soon as the wind it's dies. It's got a lot. What did you just say? As soon as the wind gets behind. See now, it's got it. Once it gets that way too much, it pulls the tiller back this way, which brings it back around, and then the wind dies when it gets behind the main. And that, it'd be nice if it was a little more finite than that, but. Can't get it any. I mean, pretty darn good, isn't it? It's all right, it's kind of snatching a little. I think we, we do a little bit better job. Maybe if I didn't let that jib move quite so much. I'm not surprised it's the full power of the jib on here. It's not even. See that? Yeah. It's the full power of the jib going around here and around to the tiller. It's not even just a little bit of it, it's the whole thing. So I'm thinking about tightening that line up just a little so it doesn't go quite so far. Before it starts pulling or it doesn't pull. Going into it looks like. This is what going into it looks like. Right now we're lowering the mainsail, so that's why we're bouncing around. Just the jib, the outer jib.